My name is Sergei Merjevsky. I am Russian born, Swiss raised, and um, I've been in the States for about seven years. And throughout my life, I've always been interested and <laughs> not really interested, passionate, more like it, about uh, wildlife, animals. Uh, it's, been ever, it's been a thing ever since I was a kid. my medium uh, metal I really love metal metal is a very uh, what's the word versatile it's a very versatile material despite being so tough um, and it's it's a, it's a very contrasting material in which where I make things that are organic live and muscular and round I make it out of a, sh uh, a material that's really tough and has a lot of character and has a lot of pushback to it. I've always been fascinated with wildlife, with animals, how they move, how they act, how they behave, and what it feels like to like to be and move the way in the way they do. And um, ever since I was very young, I've been cutting out and pasting and articulating um, animals out of paper and uh, you know it's never really changed now I just make them out of steel sum it up and when I was in Switzerland I tried to do I was in a school and they gave us the option to do 3d art or 2d art and 3d art involved um, a welding component and we tried that I tried that and long story short I really liked it I sucked at it but I really liked it second year in the States the school that I was at had a really great program, a really great arts program that uh, had a big welding shop and I got to actually work with metal and figure out my technique, figure out the tools. And I really fell in love with it. And um, the versatility and the uh, range of, of things one can build with metal is just infinite. Um, and the artistic expression one could portray with metal is also quite diverse. Um, which is when I met this guy who made these horses out of used metal. And I was like, cool, he likes horses. I like big cats. Big cats metal. Try to get the proportions right of the thing. Metal, big cats, proportions, anatomy, anatomy plus metal married together. This sculpture, it was a new shop. I was, I moved to a new place. I kind of didn't really have my bearings, so I just went in and tried to like grind it out, and then I had to slow down and be like, all right, listen, you need to draw these two things out, figure out where the anatomy is, get back into that groove, get back into um, understanding how this whole thing is gonna be put together, and then right back in it, I kind of started to get the muscle proportions right, and then the shape was just right, and then it was go, 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 go. June was the lion, July was the saber tooth, and now we're like really trying to refine um, and grind away the, um, the welds and just trying to heat the whole thing up and try to get it exposition ready. Big shout out to Camille Peters, CamillePeters.com. This is his shop, this is his tools. Um, I wouldn't be able to make this thing without him. Uh, to family, family who allowed me to be here. Mom, my dad, my grandfather, who were, you know, who sent me here to the States. And um, shout out to Hampshire, because uh, without Hampshire, I wouldn't have been able to just passion, pursue my passion um, that freely and turn this hobby, this interest, this passion that I've always had, and that now manifests itself in this way, um, to, to allow me to turn it into my Div 3 and my final project. And, the size of this project is just